Hello, wonderful, amazing video game type people, and welcome back to Might and Magic 10. Alright, so I feel like such a pimp right now. Oh, yeah. Okay, no, I totally figured it out after about 20, 25 minutes. Um, I used matchsticks, actually, and I really recommend using matchsticks if you're going to figure this one out on your own. Um, there are several keys to it. So, matchsticks and trial and error. Um, so, I, I saved this configuration because this was where I, I noticed this was my, my quick save. So I assume this is the standard configuration. Is you see that the um, there's there's four, each one right kind of looks southwest, uh, southeast, northwest, northeast. Those are the four facings of each one. Um, it whatever one you're on will never turn uh, this one here right. Whatever you're facing. So if I'm if I step uh, whatever if I were to say step on this one. Then, then that one here wouldn't turn, and this one, that one wouldn't turn, and this one, yeah, this one wouldn't turn. Um, so it's always the one that's immediately on your uh, on your left here isn't going to turn. Um, so then I, the other thing I noticed is that um, is that when you when you stand on this one here and this one here, uh, what you're getting is that the one so. The one on the left side that turns, so in my current view it would be this one, but the one that turns on your kind of like your top left side is always going counterclockwise, and the two on your right side are going clockwise. Okay? And that's for this one and this one. But this case, this is the only exception. Okay? And the exception on this one is that, uh, the, like, relative to it, if I was standing right now, if I was standing on this, this one is actually going counterclockwise. So, um, whereas on the other two, both of the poles on the right turn clockwise, in this one, the pole turns counterclockwise on the right. So this is the only situation where you actually have two poles turning counterclockwise. And so what I realized from that is that you can kind of um, control this one a, a little bit uh, more, so to speak, because you can have counterclockwise, counterclockwise. Um, or whatever, right? I don't know. I guess I just went with that. I was like, okay, this one's this pole is different from the rest. Um, that was kind of the key to it, and so I figured, okay, well, let's let's see what we can do with that. If I if I go in in a kind of um, uneven, right? Because if you're going even, it doesn't matter. If you're going counterclockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, clockwise, you're just back where you started. But if instead you go in odds, if you go one counterclockwise, um, and then say uh, three clockwise or two clockwise or whatever, right? Whatever the hell you do, that's going to make a difference. Um, it'll kind of shift it all. So then, using trial and error, I was like, okay, let's try that. So I, I, uh, I used the matchsticks. Like I, I kind of recorded what each one turns. I recorded this starting, and I started with the matchsticks like that. And then I, I, as a starter, I stepped on this one in my head. So I was like, okay, so if I step on on this one on the left here, then, then that pole there is going to turn counterclockwise. This one's going to turn counterclockwise, and this one's going to turn clockwise. So what that does, and, and I will show you, I'm going to step here, okay, so you can see these two have turned counterclockwise, this one has turned clockwise, and we're like, oh yeah, that's cool, that's cool. Um, so then I thought, okay, well now what I need to do is, uh, I don't barely remember what I thought now, but it was, it was okay, so um, what I can then do is actually keep turning this one counterclockwise, right? But turn this one clockwise. And it was just it was just this idea that I was like, well, I need to turn things um, clockwise. And as it turns out, watch this, this is incredible. If I step back here, boom, you'll notice this one is no longer moving anywhere, and it's fine where it is. But these ones are all turning, um, we got we got clockwise, counterclockwise. Now this one's already turned counterclockwise. And we're going to keep turning it counterclockwise. And now in this position, you can see, wait a minute, what's about to happen? That's crazy. Boom. That's it. That's how simple it was. Isn't that crazy? So, I mean, I don't know. I, I It was kind of a trial and error thing with the matchsticks, but it was also figuring out kind of the central mechanics and realizing that that this pole was the key to it because of that... Um, uh, the kind of unusual pattern that formed there. So there you go. Yay! I hope that works. I don't know. If I step on this, is that going to break it? Oh, I feel so badass, and I'm, I'm going to feel like an idiot if this... Um... Oh, God. 
Yeah, no, okay, cool. Yeah, it's locked in. Woo! So there you go. That's the solution as well, I guess. Um, you're welcome. I hope you figure that out on your own. It's actually really fulfilling to use matchsticks and figure that out. Yay! So I'm going to, uh, you know, save that. <laughs> Mysterious Crypt is, is a fine save. And Unidentified Relic. That's kind of why we did this. Also, ooh, Arcane Resistance. Nice. If we come here... Yes. Ancestors made this strong. Holy sandals. Um, so I think the way it works with relics is the more experience you gain while wearing the relic, uh, the better it's going to get. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah. I, mm, I don't know. I think holy sandals are going to probably boost my luck or whatever. I, I wish I knew what they end up doing. But it does end up giving a lot of uh, armor value, I think, as we progress. So they're totally worthwhile. Actually, already, look at that. What? What? What happened? There. Oh, she just got really high resistances to begin with. So yeah, uh, I'll go ahead and, and try that. The armor value is going to go up and all sorts of cool things are going to happen as we gain experience. I wonder if you can pass them around. You might be able to pass them around as they level up too. So it's just gain experience while wearing them. The earlier you get them, the better, I guess. So super cool. I don't know if you were as excited about that as I was, but mm, it felt good to figure it out. Because I was feeling like an idiot. I was so lost. I thought, what am I going to do? How am I going to do this? And then I thought, okay, well, I need something. You know, like I, I just need to play around with it on a table. And I thought matchsticks will work just fine because you can see which way they're pointed because of the head or the tip of the matchstick. Oh, I feel so badass. With weather like this, I should have taken the day off. There are no days off, friend. This is a video game. Um, how are we doing for things to kill? I guess we can. Uh, yeah, we'll just go this way and kill whatever's left. Oh, that tree's gonna get in the way. Come on now. I don't have the strength to do that. Oh, that was uncool. I needed to hit. I don't have the strength to do that. Wow. That was hard hitting. Um, actually, you know what? Pull off a potion, please. The shit's about to get real. Oh, uh, yeah, go celestial armor. Come on, guys. Step up your old game. Um, I wonder if, if that would do it. Probably not. Uh, let's check the beast tree. We're dealing with moon silk spiders, and they have primordial resistance, but no other resistance. So that's fine then. Um, just defend. Ooh. Oh, come now. And stay down. That worked, but what is making that? God awful noise. Is it this? It's probably this. Stupid statue. Oh, thank you for that. The party feels blessed. All party members are granted ten destiny. Oh, that's actually really nice. Uh, ten destiny is what? Uh, Two point five points of crit chance. Because each one is a point two five crit chance. Um, I feel like there was actually. Didn't we see something over here? Yeah, a chest. <laughs> Tribal Axe, cool. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's a lot more. Uh, okay, let's step back and we will rest for the last time. It's almost a new day. Oh, snap. Okay, now uh, we're going to move forward a little bit. Wait, you hear that? No, it's nothing. I mean, it, it wasn't nothing. There's, there's a bunch of bad guys up ahead, so... Boom, bitches! Great! I needed to hit something. I like that the moon silk spiders aren't triggered. 
I kill you. Oh, that was lovely. Come on ahead, buddy. Oh, and you're still alive. Oh, there we go. The moon spiders are triggered. Oh, that was so ideal. Let them come. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe we need to boost perception across the board. Just because I'm feeling the misses, you know? And I ain't talking about my wife here. I'm talking about uh, missing. Not that I have a wife. Wouldn't want any beautiful young ladies thinking just because I made that joke that I'm married and uneligible. Ineligible? I don't even know. <laughs> I shouldn't know. Oh, man. Okay, uh... Yeah, go for that. Yeah, you are. Oh, good. Go for that. Ooh. I actually did pretty damn good damage. I was impressed. What runs smoother than any rhyme loves to fall but cannot climb? I'm assuming water? Waterfall? Can't climb. Smoother than any rhyme. Hey, hey! We got puzzle chests. It's like, it's like Betrayal at Crundor up in here. That was awesome. Um, what do we get? Plus one destiny. Okay. I mean, it's not great, but I'll take it. Uh, plus one destiny. Oh no. I prefer dual wield skill to destiny, I think. But, it's better than nothing for now. Cool. Also, let's not ignore that we have uh, air feedback sandals. Perfect. Talk to Nevea? Elda. Oh, we can go get Elda's blessing. The ancient monument towers above you. Read the inscriptions. Read the inscriptions. Here are the clues you've gathered so Don't far. Don't have better things to do. Your journey begins before the gates of Sea Haven. The ancient monument towers above you. Travel? Where? Oh! Nowhere. Confirm. The magical stone doesn't react to this word. Okay. Um, come here for Elrath's blessing on this day, yada yada. I feel like it's the day of Elrath, because it's Elda. Um, so now we can go get Elrath's blessing. So we're going to go ahead and, and do that. Go, go, go. Get your butt over there. This isn't going to happen for another week, you jackalope. Get across here. Boom, 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 boom. Go down this way. There's Alrath's blessing. Get out of my way. I've come for your blessing, friend. Okay. I have five because I'm scared. You kneel in front of the shrine and recite a prayer to Alrath. Okay. Is that is that everything? Uh, blessing of Alra. I I I want your blessing, bud. Do I have to fight some horrible? Nothing. But I. But I recited your prayer, bud. I don't. Why? I don't understand. Well, thank you for that. Why don't I have your blessing, Elrath? I recited your damn prayer, man. I'm so confused. Oh. Not about that, though. Oh, do we need to wait till day? Oh my gosh, stop. Okay. We're gonna load that quick save. Cause I'm confused about what that was. I don't like it. It was kneel and pray for Elrath's blessing. But was there something else that I needed to do? I don't know, I'll just I'll wait for day, but Okay, whatever. No no, whatever, this is cool. Um, let's do this.
What's this? This is another obelisk, isn't it? Talk to Landro. You read the inscription. Now walk nine steps to do. towards the savage sea. Alright. Yeah, I can I can do that. I'm absolutely down with just kind of hanging out, Alrath, if that's what you uh you want. A new day is dawning. Alright, it's your day. No, I get it. It's your day. You kneel in front of the shrine and recite a prayer to Elrath. But now what? Prayed at Joe Shrine. Ah, whatever. With weather like this, I should have taken the day off. Maybe it'll come later. I wish I knew what that meant. We have now prayed to Elrath, so that's uh, that's exciting. Oh. Are you looking for training in the arcane arts? Oh yeah, right. No, there was a reason I came here. I was gonna trade with this guy. See what he's got for me. Ooh, plate armor. That's actually kind of nice. Wow. Uh, is it that good? It's it's really not, is it? No, that's not worth it at all. Um, fire warding, water warding. Water warding might be more useful. Darkness warding, darkness warding. Uh, expert, stormy. That's kind of cool. We can totally afford the elixirs if we if we really wanted them. Um, I guess we can sell a lot of this crap for money. Um, yeah, go ahead. Oh, oh, that is nicer. Okay, we'll switch to that. This is two-handed, so forget it. Uh, those I like. It's worth a good amount, but I still like it. Is that improve over what we have currently? It does. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, 1622, 1622. Okay, we only need one of them. We only need the one. Oh, the tribal staff. As you can see, it does. It definitely does more damage. Higher crit, magic damage. Everything's better with the tribal staff. Oh, but I don't have expert magical foci. So, you know, that sucks. Um, the oh. makeshift crossbow is a little bit better also. Oh, shoot. You know what? I'm just going to start pulling this crap out. Okay. So, we're going to get rid of this tribal axe, too. I believe we've got better. Those. Tribal axe, tribal axe, and her uh, thing. My bobber. Okay. I think we can work with this. Yeah, let's get the Naga tea as well. Welcome. Okay, cool. We've gotten Naga tea. Um, buy supplies, actually. Ooh, restocker supplies to nine for 200 gold. Sure. Okay. That's pleasant. That is also pleasant. That is also pleasant. Oh, and then, uh, of course, for this, um, maximum mana by 5 when consumed. Let's do it. And permanently increases resistances to all magic schools. I'm totally down with, I guess, for some reason, our Dwarf Defender, who already has so much health. That's ridiculous, but whatever. Um, sure. Might as well. Okay. Now, were there some skills that we needed to boost up at all? I feel like there may have been. Either way, it is a new day. A new day has dawned, so... That's lovely. And, uh, no, but seriously, there, is there a reason we're going back there? I wish I understood these blessings. Ugh. Okay, whatever. Um, you can equip caps. And helms. Okay, so everybody needs helmets. 
Uh, better weapons potentially. Uh, I also, yeah, I do. Oh, right. Okay, no, no. We're going back for the weapons training. Weapons training. So we've got our axe guy and our sword guy. Was it axe? I think it was axe. Axe, sword, and club. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. All right. It's pretty, but lacks a bit of green. There we go. And we're gonna go to this guy. Sword and axe. Okay. Yeah. Sword. Uh, contrary to what all beginners believe, swinging your sword around is not going to do much damage to the enemy, except maybe dent his armor. To understand the sword is to understand this simple truth. The pointy end is the deadly part. Do you want to train? <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Okay. If, if you want to learn more, you should try to find the governor of the peninsula. I hear he's a skilled swordsman. If you want to become masters, that's fine. Um, let's get axe expert. The axe is not the most refined of weapons, but what it lacks in elegance, it compensates with power. Do you want to train? Yes, please. There we go. Maces, hammers, and bludgeons are useful weapons on a battlefield because they can easily knock the enemy out or break his limbs. Do you want to train? No. That was weird. But nonetheless, I am excited by this here. Your critical hit chance with axes is increased by 5%, and more, more importantly, um... That's uh, really cool uh, for our sword wielder. Uh -huh. You get one additional strike with your main hand weapon for the first successful critical strike you executed with a sword. I I'm not sure I understand what that means, but that's cool. At any rate, it just it just boosts your attack value and damage, so it's not a bad way to go. I would like to get Warfare up as well, though. So I think we're going to go for that next. Yeah. I really, really do want Warfare up. Um, endurance will be nice also. But, uh, actually, if I do that... Because then that'll be... I think it's... Yeah, it's, it's one, two, three. One, two... Oh, okay, so maybe it doesn't matter that much. But, uh, yeah, getting that one point in endurance could be nice in case we get any items, as you've seen, uh, that boost endurance. Because then he'll be able to get the pluses from that without having to work. Uh, medium armor also might not be awful. Um, the ability to wear uh, light leather armor could be handy. Even though it does, I mean, it's going to take out some of the attack value, but... It might not be awful. I don't know. Yeah, medium armor, endurance. These could all be useful. Because this will go up to, uh, say, five, you know. Not that that's going to matter much at all. And it'll stop being useful really quickly because I assume that better medium armors are probably have more of a penalty. I don't know. Yeah, let's go Warfare. Yeah, we'll go Endurance and Warfare. That's okay. Um, oh, that's kind of cool. The first successful critical strike performed by an axe will cause a bleeding wound, making the enemy lose health equal to 50% of the damage caused at the end of his next turn. And critical damage is increased by 50%. That's kind of cool. Uh, that said... Getting his heavy armor up could also be cool. Um, but first and foremost, of course, we want to increase warfare. Yeah. I think that is going to be absolutely what we're going to do. Um, and again, I think um, the same idea. We'll put one in endurance. Yeah, yeah I'm down with that. Confirm. So what we're gonna have here is just overall high health. Um, the attack chance is what I'm interested in right now. Main hand attack, off hand attack. Yeah, that's a bummer. 
Um, but I would, I would oh so love it. I love his really high main hand attack to uh, use perception on maybe on both of them for one level, just all out perception. I don't know if it'll do anything, but you never know. Just to help them hit better, you know. Uh, okay. Anyways, I have wasted a lot of time doing that. Sorry about that. Oops. I need to get weapons. Have I checked the weapons guy? Okay, trade. Show me what you have. That's okay, but not the best. Mmm. No. None of these shout out to me and say, hey, get me. Yeah, I mean, maybe a little bit for the Shantiri Gladius, but uh, nah. Let's go look at heavy armor. Okay, now we're talking. Mm hmm. Hmm. Boy, like that. Water warding could be useful. I think we're going to be fighting against water warding types. Hmm. Whoa. What does he have right now? Oh, he's already got protection. Armor of consciousness. Okay. Right, everyone could use helmets, for sure. Hmm. Hmm. It's kind of a bummer. Um... But really, that's that's about it. Everyone can use helmets. I guess he could use a torso armor, but can he even wear anything? I guess besides a, a like a fine linen robe. Yeah. Okay. I mean, might as well. We'll grab him the linen robe and um, I guess a light warding barboot for that extra armor. Eh, a bit odd, but whatever. Uh, this guy. Same idea. Ugh. Makes me feel dirty spending that much money on it. Mm. So I won't. But I did think that he deserved this. Just so everyone has a little bit of armor, you know? Just so that everyone has a little bit more than nothing. Surely that's not that's not wrong of me. Also, I think we're headed to the lighthouse now. Hmm. And I, I think we'll do okay at the lighthouse. I mean, we could have bought more uh, spell potions, but we'll do okay because we have lots of rests available to us, so I'm sure we'll be able to rest a little bit. Now that said, we don't have a lot of time left. But that's okay. Those, uh, those, the relic sandals that I got, I'm really excited for, actually. Because as we gain that experience, right, which isn't a lot at all, it's going to level up and really quickly end up just providing a lot of defense. And I think that's going to be huge. <sighs> I'm voting to make camp. Who's with me? I mean, sure, whatever. Okay. Wait, you hear that? No, it's nothing. Look. This one is mine. Can she? For every strike that was not blocked this turn, damage of the following strikes is increased by 15% until end of turn. Okay. I'm not sure uh, what to make of that just yet. I imagine, um, 
We shall knock him away. Huh. How much armor does he's, he's he's boasting a little bit of armor, isn't he? He really is. Okay. Since we know he has a block. Radiant weapon. Nice. Let's see him. Block 18. Okay. That's not so bad. Aha! We have beaten you, a great and mighty Japanese warrior. Oh, I wish I could go there. But alas, I need the blessing blessing of Shalasa. Ooh, things lagged a lot. Dubra River. Why why are we lagging so much? Oh, hello. Friends. Giant spider. Oh, I remember you. Color me unimpressed. And stay down. Super easy. Um, there's obviously a thing we can dig up here. Woo. More money. No, I'm always down for more money, bro. Cool. Into the lighthouse we go. Pretty. This will be easy. This will be easy? I like that they know. I suppose it's, it's that idea of uh, they know what level they are, and so based on your level and the level of the area you're entering, uh, they'll know whether it's going to be easy or not, and that's probably what that voice is based on, so that's kind of cool. Ah, yes. Ancient ruins? Full of treasures, untouched for five centuries. My great! I needed to hit something. I'm just wondering if, uh, yeah, okay, no, that shaman thing isn't coming closer, so that's nice. All right, let's fight. Use radiant weapon. No blocking. Go for that. He can handle the hit. Mm. Nice. I don't like that his armor is worn. Uh, is there is there a way to repair things without having to take them in? I mean, presumably there isn't, but that's that's just a little bit annoying. Because I obviously want to, you know, leave. If I do this, am I going to get attacked? Hmm. I really am. Hmm. Really? I have to read this? Busy right now. Yeah. I mean, can't you see, lad? Oh, Jesus. Um. What? Go Celestial Armor. Ooh, baby. You boys can attack. Here we are. Ow! Okay. You're gonna heal yourself. Ooh, baby. 
Incoming damage is reduced by 15% before damage reduction. I'm not sure I fully understand. Immunity against mind manipulation. Oh, fun. Okay. No blocks, though. So as long as you can... Um... Oh, immune. Immune to mind manipulation, so we can't use that. That's okay. That was plenty of fun. Alright. Winged buckler. With four armor value. Yes, please. Oh, can we not? Yeah, there we go. And I suppose... We can come along here to get that barrel. And then I'm going to cut the episode. Get the barrel, get the barrel. Pulsing red liquid. Uh, that's probably might. Ah, oh, it's resistance against yes. fire magic. It was dark red liquid. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, very interesting. Yeah, okay. I'm going to cut the episode here for now. And I will see you folks next time on Might and Magic 10. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.